Hello, welcome to Nimbus. In the aviation world, plane manufacturers allocate a significant amount of time and resources to ensure the safety and performance of planes before they enter the production line. Despite advancing technology and evolving engineering techniques, extensive and often extreme testing remains a crucial step in this process. Boeing, as one of the leaders in the commercial plane industry, is renowned for its dedication to testing its planes. They conduct various types of tests, covering all aspects of plane capabilities. One notable test is vertical takeoff testing, where the plane is subjected to extreme conditions, such as steep turns and rapid descents. The goal is to ensure the plane can handle any situation that may occur in the air. Across the Atlantic, Airbus, a French aerospace company, also engages in rigorous testing. An impressive example is the testing of their large transport plane, the Atlas A400M, with a wingspan of up to 45 meters. Airbus evaluates this plane in various extreme conditions, including weather tests involving extreme temperatures, both cold and hot, which can affect the plane's components and systems. Negative gravity testing becomes the next focus, with Airbus conducting it on the A330 plane. This testing aims to evaluate its performance during negative gravity turbulence in a short duration with various adjustable speed levels. One of the riskiest situations in aviation is engine failure. Boeing, for instance, tests the reaction of the 787-9 Dreamliner plane in such scenarios through a series of vertical takeoff tests. They even attempt to abruptly shut down the jet engines just before or after takeoff. Another test includes VMCG, where the plane's engines are shut down on the runway, forcing the pilot to respond quickly to ensure the plane stays safely on the runway. Another high-risk testing scenario is last-minute aborted vertical takeoff, requiring the plane to come to a sudden stop while moving at high speed on the runway. Although the Boeing 747-8 plane can safely stop in this situation, the plane's tires must be deflated to prevent potential explosions. All these tests have one primary goal, to ensure that the plane can stop safely in the event of takeoff rejection and remain within the designated flight path, thus ensuring the safety of passengers and crew. Besides takeoff tests, landing a plane also poses challenges when crosswinds are present, requiring pilots to use crabbed approach techniques to ensure a safe landing. Airbus faces an additional challenge related to water ingestion, which can disrupt engine performance. To address this issue, engineers designed the A350 plane with a system that directs water away from the engines. The plane is tested by crossing standing water at various speeds, monitored with visual observations and sensor data to ensure effective water ingestion prevention. The McKinley Weather Laboratory in Florida is where the Airbus A350 XWB plane faces all extreme conditions, from hot and humid to cold and wet, including rain and snow simulations. This is concrete evidence of plane manufacturers' commitment to ensuring their planes are ready to operate in all weather conditions. Throughout the plane production process, the testing and evaluation stages are key elements. Manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus engage in various tests that encompass all extreme situations, from adverse weather to engine failure scenarios. Negative gravity testing, takeoff rejection, and landing in crosswind conditions are examples of high-risk testing involving pilots and aerospace engineers. The McKinley Weather Laboratory in Florida reflects manufacturers' extraordinary efforts to ensure that their planes can operate effectively and safely in extreme conditions.
All these steps are part of a genuine effort to ensure that the planes we board every day have undergone extensive testing for safety and optimal performance. The importance of plane testing. Plane testing is a crucial stage in the commercial and military plane production cycle. It allows manufacturers to verify the safety, performance, and reliability of planes before they enter mass production and are used by airlines or the military. Boeing and Airbus, two leading plane manufacturers in the world, take a very serious approach to testing their planes. Testing involves various aspects of the plane's capabilities, and in some cases, creating extreme conditions that might occur in everyday flight. This is a crucial step in minimizing the risk of accidents and ensuring that planes can operate in various situations that may occur during flights. Vertical Takeoff Testing One of the most notable tests is vertical takeoff testing. Boeing and Airbus involve their planes in sharp maneuvers that include steep turns and rapid descents to ensure that the plane can remain stable and controllable in extreme conditions during takeoff. For example, Airbus has a large transport plane, the Atlas A400M, with a wingspan of 45 meters. Despite its large size, this plane can take off almost vertically. During testing, the plane is subjected to extreme scenarios, including weather tests with extreme temperatures that can affect sensitive components and systems. Negative gravity testing. Negative gravity testing becomes the next focus in the plane testing phase. For instance, Airbus tests the A330 plane to evaluate its performance during short-duration negative gravity turbulence. Test speeds can be adjusted, including high and low speeds to generate diverse data. Engine failure testing. One of the riskiest situations for passenger planes is engine failure. To test the plane's reaction in such scenarios, Boeing conducts a series of vertical takeoff tests on the 787-9 Dreamliner plane. They even attempt to abruptly shut down the jet engines just before or after takeoff. Another test involves VMCG, where the plane's engines are shut down on the runway, and the pilot must respond quickly to ensure the plane remains safely on the runway. Cancelled Last-Minute Vertical Takeoff Testing Another high-risk scenario is the last-minute aborted vertical takeoff which requires the plane to come to a sudden stop while moving at high speed on the runway. Although the Boeing 747-8 plane can safely stop in this situation, the plane's tires must be deflated to prevent potential explosions. The goal of this testing is to ensure that the plane can stop safely in the event of a takeoff rejection and stay within the designated flight path, ensuring the safety of passengers and crew. Landing in crosswind conditions Pilots also face challenges when landing in crosswind conditions, where the wind forces them to use crabbed approach techniques to ensure a safe landing. Water ingestion testing Airbus faces an additional challenge related to water ingestion, which can disrupt engine performance. To address this issue, engineers designed the A350 plane with a system to direct water away from the engines. During testing, the plane crosses standing water at various speeds, monitored through visual observations and sensor data to check for effective water ingestion prevention. Testing in various weather conditions. The McKinley Weather Laboratory in Florida is where the Airbus A350XWB plane faces all extreme conditions, from hot and humid to cold and wet including rain and snow simulations. This reflects the manufacturer's commitment to ensuring that their planes are ready to operate effectively and safely in all weather conditions. Testing and evaluating planes are crucial stages in plane production. Manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus conduct a range of tests, from extreme weather conditions to engine failure scenarios, to demonstrate their commitment to plane safety and performance negative gravity testing, takeoff rejection, 
and landing in crosswind conditions are some examples of high-risk testing involving pilots and aerospace engineers. The McKinley Weather Laboratory in Florida illustrates the manufacturer's extraordinary efforts to ensure that their planes can operate effectively and safely in extreme conditions. All of these steps are part of a genuine effort to ensure that the planes we board every day have undergone extensive testing for safety and optimal performance.